Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Keith here hanging out on the bench. Uh, tonight we got one of our friends, Jared, in to give us a hand on getting our SCX6 ready for winter with a new plow. Uh, this is the V plow from Rick Perry. You can see this is a massive, massive chunk of uh, hardware. And uh, works great, but we actually ended up locking out the v plow, uh, v plow mechanism so it's just stuck in the V. We tried some servos in there and such, but as soon as you hit the snow, it's pretty rowdy. So um, he ended up coming out with a kind of limited run um, straight plow. So we ended up getting a straight plow and Jared came out today to give me a hand uh, cleaning up the shop for winter and also figuring out the electronics and the linkages and all that stuff. So stay tuned. We're gonna get this off the bench, pull the next one up and get started on that. Okay, so, um, now that plow there, the mount on the back of it is pretty much this style here. Uh, it comes laser cut uh, from Rick Perry. Um, if you're able to get a plow, never mind if you get one, they're, they're tough to get, but um, this is the plate you need. Now, if you remember from when we first got our SCX6, we lowered it down, so I'm gonna actually use the backing plate off of that one because it's already drilled out for the lift servo and uh, we drilled it out so it sits lower on the vehicle so we can, uh, everything sits nice and low and flat to the ground still. We didn't want to have a goofy kind of angle. So, um, no, we raised it up. Yeah, we raised it up because we lowered the truck. So new holes drilled below it. So this guy here will go back on that one and we'll actually end up putting this one with that plow onto uh, Jesse's truck because it is not lowered at this point. Is it a lie? Did we lower his truck? Not I might have lied. I gotta think. Uh, Jesse can answer this for you. <laughs> we might have lowered his truck and just forgot about it, but uh, this will go maybe have to get drilled out to get put on the other truck. But anyway, for today, we're gonna steal that one. It's already got the uh, servo winch that we're using for the lifting. There is a little mount on the back right here. And what Jared and I need to figure out is how to mount the for Gelly actuators, these are L16 5150 12 S's. Uh, the 12S is 12 volt with the two wire. The two wire is nice because you can go in and out with it. It doesn't have a return to center. If you get the three wire ones, they go to center and then they run uh, back and forth from there. Uh, with the S model, you will need to get a ESC to run them. We're gonna be using the Castle Sidewinder uh, for that. Um, also, the Fergelli actuators are internally limited, so once it hits the end of its stroke, it will stop on its own. You don't have to worry about damaging it or overextending it, which is nice. We are only debating if we're going to put... How many we're going to put? One? Two? That's kind of where we're at right now. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to start doing a bit of messing around. Um, We'll jump back in a few seconds here with an update on kind of what we figured out for mounting and if we can pull it off with one. It is a plastic case on this back side and this end has a light plastic schnobbin and that's pretty heavy and the SCX6 comes in at 700 pounds so you add winter or cold, might be breaking so we're really leaning towards putting two of them together because then you get double the strength and run them in there, so, or here or something, so. Stay tuned, we'll be back in a few seconds when we make up our mind on what we're doing. Okay guys, we got it figured out. Uh, Castle, it's kind of tough to see. Castle Mamba ESC to power the Fergelli um, actuator. It is a, do, 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 do an L1650 150 12S that we used for Gelly in there. Um, 
Jared helped figure out a few different places for getting it lined up so we can get the action both ways. We are using the cable you might not be able to see with the uh, cable um, servo winch up here to lift it up and down. Uh, works fantastically. Lift it up no problem there. Tons of heights so we can get around. We did tighten up the springs on the front of the truck so it keeps it nice and sturdy. The plow has a bunch of movement into it which is nice because the ground does travel. Now we are about to start installing these little guys here that actually came with the Fergellis. They're a little U-shaped with three holes drilled in them. We're going to put two on each side of the back of the plow with a bolt running through with uh, the head on the bottom with a spacer and that allows us to keep the edge of the blade of the plow actually off of the bad stuff, the concrete, the gravel, the rocks, whatever you're going to chip and break it on and they actually just run on those metal bits until you're into the snow and the plow plows the snow. Which one? That side? Which that side? So yeah, we get full function, left, right. Up, down, everything works good. It's a lot. Hey, don't go anywhere. Yeah, a lot more refined than the last setup we were running. A lot happier with that. The other one is was really big. We needed a snatch block just to get it to lift. Um, it squatted the front of the truck right down. It was heavy, so. Um, we're going to put that one on the front of Jesse's truck and use that one for kind of braking trail when we get a lot of snow and then use this for the cleanup. So, anyhow, uh, we're going to put the body on, kind of have a finish button everything up. we got to find somewhere to hang that ESC and get it mounted. Um, it is going to run off of the battery that runs the uh, lighting on the truck, that separate power unit. So. Okay guys, we got it done. Uh, Jared and I just finished wrapping up this project. You can see we've got the super bright Amazon knockoff Vanquish LEDs on there. They are bigger, they don't fit the 10 scale. They're an inch by an inch, but hey, they fit the six scale perfect. They have a ton of firepower. Um, throw a bit of heat off there. We've got the Power Hobby 560 winch to go up and down on the plow. Works great, great responsive. And then we're using the Fregelli uh, actuator to actuate the angle on the plow so we can get all the different operations we want and then we made these fancy little skids on the bottom with some four millimeter bolts put a couple washers on the bottom so we can adjust the height you don't want your cutting edge right on the ground you want to sit on these skates slide just a little bit off the ground Anyway, I'm going to shut up, we're going to put the body on, and we're going to go inside and get some footage. It is a little bit dark, so just bear with us. Um, it'll be okay. We'll see you outside in a few seconds.
big thanks to Jared coming out, giving us a hand tonight, and uh, we'll see him again on another video. Cheers. Thanks for having me. No problem.